Okay, welcome to part two of the short to ground tester build. Now what we're gonna look at is I created a mock-up of a vehicle with a fuse box, but you'll notice that I have HEC fuses in here as well. I added these just in case your vehicle is an older vehicle and it has AGC fuses, which are auto glass cartridge fuses for you to be able to use as a short to ground tester as well. This is your vehicle battery going to your fuse panel and this is your ground plane for your vehicle. So, and then I created a mock-up little wiring harness so I can demonstrate using this setup is how I found my short within 60 seconds. After spending two days and I don't know how many hours I spent trying to find a short I couldn't find. And if you find yourself in the same situation, you can use this and hopefully find yours as quickly as I found mine. And I have a description in the video for this as well, a light tester, okay? You can use these for testing for positive points on your vehicle, or you can also use these to test for grounding points on your vehicle. Let me get started. So we have 12 volts going through our system. Just to show you that, I'm gonna put my ground lead on my negative of my battery, or you can use it on a ground plane of your vehicle, it doesn't matter, but I'm just gonna to touch it to the ground of the battery and then touch my fuses. See, we have 13.8 volts. Now, if you want to go check in your fuses with a multimeter because you happen to have one, what you'll want to do if your fuses, whether it's AGC fuses or spade fuses or whatever kind of fuses that you have, you want to see voltage on both sides of that fuse. 13.8, 13.8, 13.8, 13.8, or such a ground plane on your vehicle, 13.8, 13.8, on both sides of the fuse, 13.8, 13.8. Now this here is a mini fuse, because I didn't have a blown standard fuse. So what you're gonna find, when you, when you come to a fuse that's blown, the one side is gonna show positive voltage, 13.8 there, but on the other side of that fuse, it's not gonna show anything. If it's blown, you will show zero. All right, now with this tester, connect this clip, even though it's red, connect it to a ground point on your vehicle on the negative post of your battery and then test your fuses on both sides. It should light up on both sides if the fuses are not blown. And then if a fuse is blown, the one side will light, but the other side will not light. That's how you can find a blown fuse without just pulling it out and looking at it. Now also keep in mind as well, if you connect your ground to the ground of the battery or ground on your system, and then you start probing, and you're like, oh, uh-oh, there's no voltage, there's no light coming on in either side. Well, that's because sometimes there are certain fuses that only are activated once the vehicle ignition is on. Once you go back into your vehicle and turn on the ignition, now that will light up. What I wanna show you too, real quick, if you wanna find a ground, connect it right to the positive post of your battery. And whenever you touch anything on your vehicle that is ground, it lights up. If you want to connect up lights or whatever extra lights that you want to connect to your vehicle or a horn or whatever, and you're not sure if an area is that you need to connect to is grounded, all you have to do is connect one end of your light probe to the positive post of your battery or a positive source of your vehicle and then take this part of the probe and touch that piece of metal or bolt and if your light lights then yes that is ground a good ground so that is a way to find a good ground let's show you now how this short to ground tester works whatever fuse is continually blowing what you'll want to do first you'll turn on your key or if the fuse you're trying to find a short on doesn't need a key in the ignition what you'll want to do is put this end of your tester connect to the ground point of your battery your negative post or a ground point on your vehicle and pull the fuse out what you'll want to do is you'll want to touch both sides of this fuse holder until that light lights up like that now you know that is the side of the fuse that the voltage is coming into once you know that because you use the black heat shrink on one side of your fuse adapter, you're gonna have a red and a black. What you'll wanna do, you know that the hot is coming in on this side, so you'll want your red wire to be on that side because the reason 
for that is that this side of the fuse is grounded to your vehicle. So if you put your bulb in here, I created this mock-up wiring harness. So watch what happens when I start pulling and bending on the wiring harness. You could go up and down your car underneath all the way, pulling and bending wires. Just keep bending wires until you get that light to come on. Now, if you have a permanent short, then that light is going to be on as soon as you plug this in, which means you have a permanent short. And then when you go messing around with your wires, pulling your wires, bending your wires, your wire harness, keep doing little sections at a time until the light goes out like that. Then you know exactly where the location and you can cut away the protective casing over your wiring harness to see when you get into your wires, you're going to look and you're going to see that. You're going to be like, uh-oh, there is where the short is. And then you can just pull this apart and then just take some electrical tape and tape up both sides to fix that. But just make sure if you do decide to cut this that you are able to put it back together, to splice it back together. Now let's test the buzzer. I like the buzzer because if I'm using a buzzer, I don't have to be pulling on wires and then try to look over and see if the light bulb is on or off. I can just be pulling on wires all down through my truck and hear that. <laughs> that could, I mean, outside this is not going to be as obnoxious. As I can pay attention more what I'm looking at, pinching, bending wires. And when this buzzer goes off, then yes, I know exactly where that is. If you have a permanent short as soon as you go to plug in your light bulb it's going to come on let me show you using the AGC now remember this is the main power coming into this fuse so this is where you want the red wire to be now on this glass fuse the red wire is over here so we want to plug it in there if you have a short in your wiring system on your AGC fuses then when you find that then it's going to light up if you have a permanent short on this, every time you put a fuse in, it blows. As soon as you stick it in there, then that means you have a permanent short like this. Okay, and the light is going to be on as soon as you put this in the fuse holder. And then when you're pulling and prodding on wires, and when that light starts going off and coming on, then you know you've hit the general area in that harness where the wire may be. It could still take a little bit to find it, but at least you know the area it's at now. And hopefully, like me, you can find your short in under 60 seconds. And when you want to extend it because you need to go to the back of your vehicle, you just plug your extension that you made into this socket for the type of fuse that you have. And then what you would do is plug your bulb or your buzzer into this side. And then just make sure that you plug this in the correct way on your fuse holder, the red on the voltage coming in. And then when you find your short, it will cause your buzzer to start screaming. Okay, so there you go. This tester has went through like three different versions and several different designs before I finally got it to where it is now. I think this is the most effective way to build this. Definitely the easiest way to build this. It was just only the other day that I come up with the idea for the glass fuses. I was like, wait a minute, what about people that have old older cars that use AGC fuses? What about them? So I thought I would show how I built that and how you can do it as well. It's simple to make just find a 30 millimeter glass fuse and a 20 millimeter glass fuse that are blown. If they're not blown, just be careful. Don't try to use a 30 amp fuse to blow it so you can make this. Find a one amp fuse, find a two amp fuse, maybe even a five amp fuse, but the lower the amp fuse you can find, the easier it's going to be to blow and a lot safer. If you have a 30 amp or a 50 amp fuse, you're going to have to be pushing some serious power through that to get it to blow. And that could blow up in your face. 
anything could go wrong. I just hope that somebody leaves a comment and says, Steve, I built this for my specific vehicle. I didn't go through all the ones that you made, but I made the one for my vehicle. And let me tell you something, I found my short within five minutes, less than five minutes. Let me know in the comments if this has helped you. Let me know in the comments if you're gonna build this exactly the way that I did so you can use this out helping other people. Thank you again for stopping by. Take care of yourself. Take care of each other. Find someone that needs a reason to go on and give them that reason. God bless each and every one of us, and I will see you in the next one.